and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Golgari mid-range. All right, so this deck uh, is another uh, list that was from the 5-0 Magic Online list recently, and it looks pretty sweet. It had a couple of cards that I hadn't played before, so I wanted to do that. You can see the... Um, the uh, main part of the deck is, of course, the regular food package, which is Oven Gilded Goose called Familiar Trail of Crumbs. So you know it's going to be pretty solid there, even you know some Wicked Wolves as well. But then we got some, some different cards around it. We have two cards that I've never played before, so I'm excited about. We have Pelucranos Unchained, this uh, new mythic. I used to play the old Pelucranos from Return to Ravnica a whole bunch. Um, so yeah, let's let's check out some Plukernos Unchained, and then we also got some Shadow Spears, another card that I haven't played with before. So we got two Shadow Spear. Um, you know, gives gives these creatures uh, Trample, Life Link, especially if they're a really big creature, like you know, it's six six or this escapes as a twelve twelve. Given those, given either of those um, Trample Life Link, we've seen the importance of the ability because of Dream Trawler. With that ability but then also this also this deck kind of has like this sneaky one in here in here wildborn preserver so wildborn preserver is just a 2-2 but you can make it a lot bigger every time you have a creature enter the battlefield well we have cauldron familiar entering the battlefield so with that extra mana like later on in the game we can just pump up wildborn preserver make wildborn preserver huge which you know that's not always super useful but if you have shadow spear making a huge wildborn preserver then giving it trample lifelink I don't know. That sounds like that's pretty sweet. It seems like that could be something that could uh, could finish some games out. So that's so you know like that's some spicy stuff here. So let's give this a try. This Golgari at mid range. We're going to be playing this over in ranked with it being a five zero list. It should be you know pretty good. Let's go play some ranked, and we're going to be playing four matches. Trying that out. Yeah, Wildborn Preserver doesn't really look like a creature that should have reach, does it? Do I like four trophies? Not really. Not a huge Assassin's Trophy fan. I don't like giving my opponents lands. But let's see how they let's see how they play. <laughs> the fox jumps really high. The funnest deck to play with Thero Standard. Um, I'm not sure. Funnest deck. I don't know. That's something that... Yeah, it's probably different for a lot of a lot of people. Um, I'd say I like I really like the Demir Kraken deck, and also the the Teamer Ramp. Those are probably the two decks I've played the most. You think Robber of the Rich has reach be like it reaches in someone's pockets because it's a robber? I'm not sure about that. I haven't played. I I honestly have not played any historic at all since Theros released. So I don't I don't know what I mean. You know, like whenever we we're playing histor a lot of historic before, it was a whole lot of Esper and Gruel, 
Uh, I don't know if that has changed at all. We did not draw very well this this mat this game here. There's 24 lands in the deck. Wow, we really did not draw very well. I don't I don't have anything that gets me out of this, right? That's the thing. It's not like, look at that. We put three lands down to the bottom. It's not like we've been seeing all sorts of spells. That's crazy. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We've seen thirteen of our twenty-four lands. Crazy. So it looks like our sideboard has lots of exile removal. Four epic downfall, three E2 extinction. Lots of exile over there. Um, it's kind of awkward with trail, you know, with trailer crumbs. This is 63. I kind of want to play all these cards, though. I like all these cards. I guess we're taking out two downfalls. And a preserver. Well, Shadow Spear gives my creature lifelink and lets it trample over Cauldron Familiar. Both of those are important. On land. Yeah. Should I exile the cauldron familiar or destroy the witch's oven?
don't think it's destroyed witch's oven. in that fourth land this game after having 14 lands last game. Sounds about right. All they have to do, have is anything that does one point of damage to me, I'm dead. They have 11, I'm at 12 right now, they have 11 points of damage. Here. They can just sack the Cauldron Familiar, and that's, that's one point of damage. And so yeah, just any, any creature would have killed me. any creature with woe strider and mayhem devil <sighs> so hopefully we can get something between 14 and three lands you know maybe something just a little bit in between those two Yeah, Boot, Boot is the person uh, that's joining us. He's a, a mod. He's join, joining me for the Overcooked stream. We did we did one other Overcooked stream before. We got to, we started, you know, at the beginning. And we got to level 4, 3 or 4, 4 or something like that that we're on right now. Whoops. I should attack with the Cauldron Familiar first. I was just kind of talking and didn't really think about how Wicked Wolf actually fights the wall. But I, I want to have, you know, Wolf with a food token so it doesn't just die. To a sweeper.
So I could use like Assassin's Trophy on uh, Banishing Light, like the uh, um, the Midnight Reaper one. Especially if they play a sweeper. Look like they're just holding up Dovin's veto. Maybe not. Holding up Omen of the Sea. All right, Gonk, have a good night. The past, present, and future are bound by threads of time. Has, this is Exile 6. I don't think we have Fable Passages in here. No, there's no Fable Passages in here. Fable Passage would make makes it easier for Pelucranos to escape. My opponent has a Narset in play. So trying to trophy and get Midnight Reaper back would not have helped a whole lot. Oh yeah, I mean I love Bola Citadel. Yeah, Bola Citadel is awesome. I'm today I'm I'm playing, uh, you know, five O list for Magic Online. So I, these these were not lists that I made. I'm playing the exact list that they had before.
But yeah, I really like Bola Citadel. And this is a perfect kind of matchup for Bola Citadel as well. Oh, please let me do stuff before they untap. Okay. Thanks, Blind. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about the new place, for sure. I... Oh, gosh. Can't beat that card. <laughs> Wicked Wolf can't beat that card. I am proud of my comrade. No, basically, I got Wicked Wolf because they because it's really hard for them to get rid of Wicked Wolf. You know, like their sweepers don't kill it. I want Wicked Wolf to try to, and you know, like if they just play a Dream Trawler, Wicked Wolf can attack through a Dream Trawler. Where they play a Dream Trawler, it's like, what am I supposed to do? I feel like we could use some Fable Passages to try to help turn on Pelucranos Unchained over here. Yeah, there's there's not too many rules about deck donation program. It's just uh, It's uh you know, pretty straightforward. But yeah, there's you know, like if you're on your PC, if you scroll down, there's all the information about like the stream and one of the sections is about donating for donation decks. I guess they have that thing to get rid of Wicked Wolf. That would have got rid of Midnight Reaper too though. Fight yeah, on me. on mobile, you should still be able to click over. Like, if you go to like my profile on mobile, you should be able to click over to info. But basically, all it is is it's just twenty dollars, and you just put a link to your deck and let me know when you want to play it. That's it's as easy as that. I could tell I had that absorb for a long time, and I did not want to just throw my witch's oven into an absorb. Do they have Narset in there to get back with Elspeth Conqueror's death? Neither monsters nor gods. Together we can exact justice. Well, time to drain him out. Yeah, I use MTG Goldfish when looking at like the 5-0 list and stuff.
<clears throat> Come on, opponent. Let's go. So many lands. So many lands. Those who cannot proceed beyond the veil of reality are lost. Courage will bloom in all who seek justice. Meditate and prepare. Darn. Because I'll bounce Witch's Oven and then they'll be able to counter it. Again. I know my responsibility. Oh, never mind. No, I am not making this up as I go. I guess they're doing that instead. There's not very much mid range in this format, is there? Just kind of thinking about it. It's just, it's basically aggro, aggro control and ramp. It's hard to find a mid range deck that can beat those three. I like that soul type mid range. I think that soul type mid range can, but it's also kind of ramp in itself. Main deck Heliod's intervention. That's cool. No, ramp's not usually no ramp and mid range are different things. Ramp's closer to Hey, Thero. Ram's kind of closer to a control deck than a mid-range deck. these things up. The yeah, ramp's kind of like a mix between like combo control. It's because you know like you're you're just trying to like stay alive and you know you go way bigger than other decks. It's not it's not really a mid-range deck. You said so Simic Ramp's not control, it's not aggro, so it's mid-range. Well no, it's it's ramp. That's what I'm saying. Like that's a different like there's like there's like you know, like there's combo, control, aggro, ramp, mid-range. Like those are all those are all different things. It's not just control, aggro, mid-range.
the food. Get more cards. Still not be able to beat Dream Trawler at all. No blocks. They're at 22 cards. I'm at 30. They're at 1947. I'm at 21 minutes. Exact justice. How is ramp different from what you're playing right now, playstyle wise? Because they have different goals. Ramp is spending cards to acquire mana. So a lot of the cards in a ramp deck. That's what it's doing. It's just trying to acquire mana. Um, this is going to work. I don't I don't really have a great plan of winning this game. Keep an open mind. I know Wildborn Preserve is an instant, but I played it sorcery speed so that I could put counters on it. I am not going to sit this one out. I've got time. Can I mill them out? 19, not really. I guess I can just waste more clock. Believe in yourself as I believe. And obviously I cannot. Um cannot flash in Wildborn Preserver because it's a fairy. Whoops, I meant to block and then make a food. I guess that just all took so long with all those triggers. I just kind of made a food. I meant to block, then make a food, and then I would draw a card with the Midnight Reaper.
something to lose. Could of course just sack it to Wicked Wolf to not spend the two mana, but I think we need the, the life. So yeah, we're basically just kind of staying alive. I don't know. I don't know exactly what we're what we're fighting for. Yep, maybe Pelucranos. We're gonna play Pelucranos and then start trying to fight these Dream Trawlers and make them use a lot of cards. I mean, they're at 16 cards in library. Like that's my main hope right now. To mill them out. That's my best hope. Mill him out. I have just the trick for this. It's something wrong. All my cards cost so much. Um. They probably have a lot of counter spells over here, right? <laughs> New stuff. Okay. I'm at 21 now. They're at 14. We have to start playing faster. I'm basically at the same time they are now. Maybe should have. I should have played the other Wildborn Preserver in response. Yeah, I should have played the other Wildborn Preserver in response. You are braver than you know.
I think as for control, it can be really good. I, I don't think the list that, that we had that we played was very good. Fifty-two. They got ten cards in library. I'm at nineteen. I don't really need to sack the um Land, I want land. They're they're at like infinite life. I didn't need to sacrifice the the thing to keep them from gaining life. They're at infinite life right now. Their life total doesn't matter. Their life total is ten. Ten cards in library. Let's do that up here. Interesting. Let's try this. Okay, so you're playing that that Esper list, doing well with it. Okay, cool. So you took out, believe in yourself. Took out Metamai and put in two Duress and two Tyrant Scorn. Okay. That's exact lethal. It's exact lethal.
could have stayed alive another turn. Could have done, I could have done a better job staying alive, I think. Okay, well, let's bring in Agonizing Remorse. I did not show them Shadow Spear. Um, they had main deck Heliod's intervention. That was rough. I guess Gilded Goose is my worst card. I don't know, Gilded Goose did, did some good work, though, making a lot of food for me. Hey, Munchies. Um, Maybe I don't actually want trophy. Let's try this. No, my opponent did not. No, they didn't see the Shadow Spear. Yeah, maybe E2 Extinction. They got all those Planeswalkers. Turns out that Teferi card's pretty good. Yes, here you go. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. So, of course, I wanted Trailer Crumbs to resolve, and I wanted, uh, um, and I didn't want them to just be able to bounce my oh, food token either. Goose. 
<clears throat> Need the food generator. Don't worry, I got this. Drawing all three return to natures. This early in the game, not ideal. Not ideal at all. Trailer comes resolving those pretty ideal. Here goes nothing. Speaking of things being ideal or not. I'm not sure my favorite my favorite deck since Theros. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Can just never I've kill to fairy ever. It's always infinite to fairies. So Elspeth Conqueror's death gets back to fairy. So if I return to nature, it only doing stopping them from getting it to fairy back. I need to play faster, don't I? I'm down a minute now. Trust me, I have a plan. I just have a lot more little decisions. A lot more clicks.
Well, I know the bottom of my library is just a whole bunch of lands. Four lands down at the bottom. I'm down by a minute 20 now. I'll protect you. Can't tell which one's which. I'm just going to time out. Yeah, looks like I'm just going to be timing out. Stupid Gilded Goose makes me click on everything. stuff so many lands and with all those activations all we do is find lands and then all we're doing is just getting more lands Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I had to do that in response, because otherwise the Hushbringer shuts it down. Yeah, I'm going to win this game, but still just going to run out of time. Sorry, I don't care. Sacrifice of food. Which one are you? You, yes, take action. You like five.
decline, decline. Mike, I have a this thing. These things have reach, so if they would attack their creature, their creature would die. They're doing now to draw a card. They're just taking up more of my clock. We got four minutes. I'm three minutes behind. I'm just gonna run out of time. I played too slow. Yeah, I just played too slow. Sideboarding does not eat into time now. Um, yeah, I kind of think I should cut Gilded Goose. Gosh, Trailer Crumbs is so good, but it's... You know, just for time for time reasons, because we have to like respond to Gilded Goose all the time. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Cauldron Familiar also makes you, like, Witches Oven, Cauldron Familiar. You have to respond to a lot of stuff, too. Gonna try to play this fast, you know, using the space bar and everything. through this. This card else conquers death. This might be a bad idea. That's good. Let's try this. That's good for me. Ugh, 
I'm still three minutes behind. That's bad. Add another one, that's bad. Yeah, just just gonna lose because of time. Right. Why why am I responding to everything? I'm like tapped out. This isn't a fight you can win. Don't worry, I got this. Could he use an untapped land there for Plukernos plus fight, but I guess we need to try to take counter spells too. Yeah, I'm just gonna run out of time. Even like where the game's at right now, like I, I still think that we'd have a, a pretty decent chance of actually winning this game. Honestly. Like I, I honestly don't really hate where we're at right now. Like if, if the game would keep on going. Went in a minute fourteen. All right. All right, yeah, hour and a half later. Um, so there we go, there's Golgari midrange. We're just playing the two matches. I am kind of, kind of tired of doing the, the Call of Familiar Witches Oven, Trail of Crumbs thing. <laughs> it's so many clicks, everything like that. I don't really want to go through another very long match like that. Um, honestly not you know like we did we've been doing that a little bit too much recently i'm kind of tired of doing those clicking on all those cards over and over and over we got the overcooked two um stream that we're gonna be doing here with boot and 
So we're gonna get to that. So that's what I want. To, that's what I want to do here. Um, all right, but there we go. So there's there's Golgari mid range. Um, was was kind of interesting with Shadow Spear, Wildborn Preserver, Pelugranos. Gave it some interesting stuff. Um, those cards those cards were different and enjoyable. I liked those cards. All right, um, but uh, yeah, because you know this is normally like when we would be ending the stream like just time wise. We got the fourth deck in, but had some really long games there. All right, that's Golgari Midrange. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, um, you know what to do. Hit that like button over there and, you know, leave those comments. Um, but five losses in a row. We're going to move on. Let's. If you uh, if you haven't checked out the Overcooked 2 streams before, hope you check this one out. It's a whole lot of fun. Uh, we have on YouTube, we have like the, uh, there's a playlist where uh, Boot and I started the game and we we're on like level four four i think or four three something like that right now that's what we're going to get to here but that's it here for golgari midrange so thank you so much for watching and i will see you for the next video